Well, let's cross over to Bristol, joined by investigative journalist uh, Tony Gosling. Tony, thanks so much for being with us. Well, what do you make of this row between London and uh, Washington? Okay, it's fascinating, isn't it, to see this. Uh, I, I think actually one has to look at how such a secret document could have possibly have been leaked to the press. If you can imagine the closeness of the security arrangements between Britain and the United States, it beggars belief that anything which was being passed from the ambassador to London or vice versa could possibly find its way onto the front pages of the newspapers. I mean, what if there was some kind of secret nuclear codes in these memos? I mean, I would imagine right now uh, people at Government Communications Headquarters in Cheltenham, GCHQ, will be tracing every little bit of where this information went. Couldn't imagine it was be, be sent on the most secure possible means. So the question is, who leaked it? Uh, this is a really important thing to figure out. Uh, and the answer, of course, will come almost certainly down to not a, anything to do with politics, but the civil service. Now, you have to remember that up until recently, the civil service has been managing the, all these Brexit re negotiations. Now it looks like uh, it may be the last chance for saloon for many of those people doing those negotiations. So it may be, you know, networks within the British civil service who have decided to sp spike the guns uh, and, and, and really t uh, mar relations between the United States and, and the UK. Uh, and that, I think, is what's behind this, Marcia. Uh, it's somebody within the system mm -hmm. who's decided, who's a pro-Remain person who doesn't like Brexit, to try and uh, uh, just spoil relations between Britain and America because they know the result will be that uh, it will be embarrassing for the Brexiteers. And what do you think this, what do you think it would lead to right now, of course, the... Uh uh, UK has said uh, that it will leave its ambassador there, but when the president says he's not interested in actually dealing with the British ambassador, uh, do you think it's just a matter of time that uh, he will be removed? Uh, it's possible, uh, but look, let's also remember that the US ambassador to Britain will be sending back similar sorts of memos about British incompetence to the US, because that's what these ambassadors have to do. They have to give the bald, uncompromised facts as they see them. And of course, that's very different to what these governments will be saying in public about their allies. Uh, a great deal of difference between the two. And I would argue between the United States and Britain, you're seeing a, a, an enormous division between what is being said in public and what is being discussed in private as part of those uh, ne negotiations. But actually, what we've seen really in this leak is that the civil service is trying to mar relations, uh, you know, that the relation to Brexit, let me just make clear, mm -hmm. is that after Brexit, Britain's relationship with the United States is going to be much more important. Uh, the trade deals that are being done are also very important. And so that's why I link this to the whole Brexit business, because this will only serve the interests of the Remainers or the Romaniacs, people who are going against what the people voted for. And you've got a civil service which is going against it. We had the MP Steve Baker explain that when he was Brexit minister, the civil service were working against Brexit. He got ticked off for it, but he was being very frank with the public. And also, of course, Parliament is against Brexit. So it seems the only people who are going to be pushing for Brexit are the present government uh, and the people who voted for it. Uh, so I, I think that's what this is all about. It's a backdrop to the, the Brexit and trying to really spike the guns of the Bre Brexiteers and to mar relations with the United States. I don't think Donald Trump has really uh, knows and thought this right through exactly what the motive of this leak really is, Marcia. All right. Thank you so much for being with us out of Bristol. Tony Gosling, investigative journalist.